Hi, my name is Jürgen and I love open source. As always, I'm going to teach you a few things about Inkscape. And today I'm going to talk about how to create an outline. Um, what, what, what do I mean with an outline? Well, you see, I've heard this issue a few times already with, with people who, who, who made this wonderful, nice drawing or who found it on the internet and then tried to create it, cut it out in a in the materials so maybe in wood with the laser cutter or in cardboard or in a coloring book and but they also want to cut out the shapes but this means that, that they don't want all these inside images also being cut out they just want the contours to be cut out and have the shape on the inside so how are we going to do this first things first i found this great chameleon it's not my artwork where did i find it let's let's uh, give credit where credit is due this is a nice work created by Pixel. Uh, it's a printable coloring page for adults, a wonderful chameleon with really nice details. I like it. And um, this is what I'm gonna con convert into a cutout. So I click on it and I get this really nice high resolution bitmap. This is perfect for coloring. This is more than what, what, what you need if you print it. But the problem is if you want to have this cut out the most most of the machines need a path they you, you need to tell the tell the the knife or the laser beam or the mill or whatever tool you're using what what path it has to walk so uh, up down up down curve 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 what path it has to follow to cut out your thing so you, you cannot say follow the pixels because the pixels are really not what you want um so First things we'll, ha we'll have to do is change this bitmap into a vector. So I'm going to path, trace bitmap, and the default settings here already help me a lot. This is what Inkscape shines in. If you have like this really nice black and white images, it just does a perfect job in converting them. Okay, it looks like not, not, not much has happened, but let's just drag it away. And you see we have two of them now. And if you watch at the bottom here, on this one it says image and the resolution. This one says a path. Um, so let's get rid of this one, put this one in the middle here. First do some tiny cleanup because here the logo, we don't need that. And... Um, Okay, so this is the image I want to I want to convert to a path. So what I'm going what I'm going to do now first is just add a layer. I'm going to duplicate this layer, duplicate layer, and I'm going to lock it here. Image, and now I'm going to call this one contour, just because I like functional names. Um, I'm gonna give this some opacity, just, and I, I, I locked my, my image, and now what I'm gonna hide it for now. So now with the contour, what what's the ID behind the contour? So we want to get rid of all the outside pixels. So you, you could start, zoom in, and say, we don't need all these. But this is like really cumbersome so i'm not going to do that a lot of work what i usually do is i just select the whole image the whole path and i say break apart path and you get all these tools all, all these uh every everything so it comes together and often i'll, I'll just switch these two in order so you can see some often this is more than what you need but ex for example in this case it's not good enough uh, let's give your contour a different color here so it's more clear because for example here there's a hole okay but now what what i'm going to do is in, on this layer so i I'm not touching the image, is I'm going to union the path, union, and then it will just create one big path. But let's see, this one shouldn't be unioned 
because there will be, have to be a hole there. So path union. It's thinking a lot now, apparently. Wow, my machine is... This shouldn't take so long. Normally this just takes less than a second. Okay, here it is. And now we have two shapes. Uh, I give them a different color now, so you know, only so this, now it really simple got simplified. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to do difference in paths. And now I have my hole here, so you'll see now my my image is uh, is uh, fits just outside of that. And if you would if you would now give the red. Uh, path to the to, to, to the laser cutter as the um, cutting path and the black path as the drawing path you will have a perfect chameleon that's cut out as you would like it now there's one thing I would like to add there's often often it's the case that I would like to have like um, an out a, a border sticking out so uh, I'm gonna give my contour a thick, a thick path for now so I'm gonna give it some stroke uh, fill in stroke, stroke paint, Oi. and I'm gonna give it like a five, a three, five millimeter stroke. Maybe it's too much, three millimeters. Okay, just give it a nice color so we can see it. So here, now it's it, it's gonna be a matter of preference. So because we have like this really sharp laws here you could prefer to have like a, a different cap or join but I prefer the rounded ones but it's a matter of taste so but so I, I take this kind of shape and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break apart again Sh shift control K okay. no not shape break apart I'm gonna do path stroke to path so what will happen now did he do it? Not yet. Path, stroke to path. All it looks looks like all the pink is gone. But if you now look to your path, what what do you see? It created uh, the outside and the inside. So it actually converted your thick line into a, 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 a path on the other side, outside and inside. And now I'm going to break this apart. Path break apart. And just for the clarity, I'm going to give this a stroke again, but not so thick this time, just because I'm going to get rid of it, give it a different color, so it's clear. So you see, now there's a few things you won't need, so that the smaller, smaller image here can go, and the outer one can go too. Uh, I'll just add a little bit of complexity so I create uh, I had the stroke uh, undo is it undo undo okay so now instead of three millimeters we're gonna have five millimeters so what happens or even seven millimeters so it gets even more clear so now we're gonna have like all these holes here that's, uh, and we're gonna, so we're not go gonna do it again. So uh, path, stroke to path, path, break apart. Have all these line, all these shapes have a half a millimeter stroke. And now you see a, a lot of things we don't need anymore. So we're gonna get rid of these, this big shape the big inside shape oh no okay everything was still selected so the big inside shape we don't need it and we're gonna take get rid of all these excesses here you don't need this one 
we do need that one to be cut out. We need these must be cut out. So now you, you, there are two possible approaches. So you could say, let's first join these three and turn them into one big shape. Or you could, if, if you think that's easier, just do this and this, control K for combine, path combine, or difference as you prefer. Now, I just move it back to the background again. Let's do the same. But I actually prefer to first combine all the things and make a union of them. And then do it like this, path difference. Now get rid of our stroke because it's good for us to understand. So now we have like this shape that we want to cut out and we have like a nice contour with some spacing around it. Oops, what's here? Some messy leftovers. Sometimes it needs some cleaning up as you see. Easy. Still st stuff left. Okay. So now we have like the nice shape we want to cut out. And now if, if, if you send this image to your Glowforge or to your laser cutter or to your application that prepares the cutting, I think you have everything you need. So this is, is this for today. I hope you enjoyed this small example and um, see you next time. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. I love to answer questions. Bye.